So we just got a new fusion card featuring Magician of Black Chaos and Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Dragon Magia Master is the name we're going with apparently. I guess you could see it as something of a retrain of Dragon Master Knight, and like that card, to fuse into this card we need Blue Eyes Ultimate. Though we could use three Blue Eyes monsters instead, but I don't think anyone's going to be doing that. As for the other material, we could use any Chaos Ritual monster. For the unaware, BLS counts as a Chaos monster, since in Japan his name is Chaos Soldier. So what it do? Basically, we can negate each card type once per turn. Yeah, that's up to three negates per turn. Though, let's be real here, we're rarely ever going to negate a trap card, so it's more like two negates. Still, that's insane. Also, if this card leaves the field because of an opponent's card, we can special summon one Blue Eyes monster or Chaos Ritual monster from the extra deck or graveyard. The way it's worded, it ignores summoning conditions for the extra deck monsters, but not those in the graveyard, so sadly, we're not cheating out Chaos Max with this. So, since this uses Chaos Ritual Monsters, and I specialize in Chaos Ritual Monsters, I've been getting messages and comments asking how we're gonna use this. Believe it or not, there's at least two ways that we can use this in our Ritual Dark Magician decks. And both of these methods only require one new card in the main deck. Loza's already gone over these two methods, I'll have both of those videos show up in the end cards of this video, so you can watch those right after this one. So even with all of that said, sure we can put this card into our deck, and it would fit in pretty well, but I still don't think we should. At least, not if we're trying to play competitively. Or unless we figure something else out. Let me explain why. While the ultimate fusion combo that Loza came up with has synergy with her main combo and can even be performed alongside it, Dragon Magia is a bit redundant. We're likely not going to use the trap negate. We're not going to use the monster negate either, because our main combo already stops monster effects. The spell negate is nice, but we've got much easier ways to stop the opponent's spells. And we can't even use this method as a going second strategy because it takes a turn and a half to set up. And the other method takes up too many cards and even contradicts our main combo. So in the best case scenario, it raises our power ceiling a little, but our power ceiling is already high enough. Anything else is diminishing returns. What we need is a consistency booster. If we could just get Preparation of Rites 2, 3, and possibly 4, that would be nice. But hey, I love this card in concept, so as soon as it's usable in Y Go Omega, I'll be testing it out and let you guys know what happens. And who knows, maybe I'll figure something else out and we do end up using it. In the meantime, check out Loza's videos on how to summon this guy.